the artists of the 30s gave a shape, a vision, a form to the period. They bestowed on us the gift of memory. I think one of the uh, uh, horrors of our society, American society, is this break with the past, a lack of continuity. Young people know nothing of the past, for that matter, even people who've in the past are forgotten it. New Deal had this wonderful idea, it was better to put them to work, even they're receiving the same amount of money and give them some self-respect that they were earning this money instead of just receiving it as charity. All of the projects put to work skills and talents. Practically without exception, every American artist born between 1900 and 1915 spent his formative years in the arts project. Our committee is the only agency of government that has the power of exposure. Therefore, this investigation must go on. How the arts project died, of course, is part of history, if you know about it. The writers and the theater people were constantly under attack. We were accused of being communists. There was undoubtedly congressional pressure against what was seen as extreme left-wing influence in the federal theater. Attacks on the project mounted daily. The doors were open for censorship. We were pretty liberally attacked by the politicians. And there were concerted efforts to uh, try to uh, get rid of uh, this organization. This was the beginning of a, a whole new history in the United States.